Fortunately, now we have many options for refractive error correction. So to uh, start with something that is really close to my heart, SMILE, because I'm the original investigator for SMILE. It's almost like my baby. There were only 250 eyes done in the world. I had the honor and the pleasure of studying it in its infancy. And the next 1000 eyes were done here in Vadodara. Uh, and then the, the procedure was made commercially available world over. So being the pioneer in SMILE, I would definitely have a soft corner for SMILE. It's a wonderful procedure. It combines both the advantage of safety of PRK, but without the pain, and the advantage of a quick recovery of LASIK, but without a flap. There are many other lenticule-based procedures which have followed SMILE. So silk is one of them. So it's a lenticule-based procedure again, where you would not need to create a flap, and the lenticule is created within the cornea, and remote through a small incision, making the procedure minimally invasive. There is a quick recovery and there is no chance of any flap related issues. In some patients, we cannot do lenticule based methods. In them, we can go ahead and create a flap, but now instead of using a blade to create a flap, which we were using originally in a microkeratome, now we have femtosecond lasers to create a flap. When you use a femtosecond laser to create a flap and an excimer laser to create the uh, reshaping of the corneal bed, the procedure is called femtolasic or bladeless lasik. It adds a lot of safety as compared to microkeratome lasik because in a microkeratome procedure, since it is a mechanical instrument, sometimes it was creating problems in creating a flap and that would spoil the entire procedure. There are cases where you don't have any option of going on the cornea, where the cornea itself is not amenable to treatment. It's too thin, it's too flat. It's uh, having a person having family history of keratoconus or the number is too high to be tackled from the cornea. Then there is still hope because you can now go inside the eye and put in an intraocular phacic lens which is put over and above your normal lens. And this is known as a phacic IOL or in the commonest form that we use the ICL. So since there are so many options that are available to us, there is also going to be a different price range for each and every option. And the prices can range from as low as 30,000 for both eyes to as high as almost 2 lakhs for both eyes, depending upon what option your eye uh, can go for. And uh, there are options available in this particular center for all sorts of eyes. So you can actually get your eyes checked and know your options and then decide which one you want to go for for your eyes. Follow Center for Sight and post your queries to get answers from the experts.